O mortals, can bare bones live? Can life return to barren ground? Only the Lord God knows. O people, hope and trust in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love and a power beyond imagining to redeem. Our first hymn is number 339, Be Thou My Vision. against us no one could survive we sometimes have more faith in death than we have hope in your promise of everlasting life in spite of our foolishness in spite of the fact that we attempt to cast off all responsibility for our actions we know that you are overflowing with grace and will forgive us only you can restore us only you can make us whole our first reading is Psalm 130 out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord. More than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. Our prayer of elimination. O oh Lord, we wait for you, and in your word we trust. By the power of your spirit, Set our hearts and minds on the source of life and peace, which is your grace, which you have made known through your holy book. Amen. <laughs>
And we have a reading from the Old Testament. This is from Ezekiel, and it's chapter 37, verses 1 through 14. And Ezekiel writes, The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? And this is a question that we have to ask ourselves in this time. It is as if our society, as if our, the infrastructure of our nation is becoming bare bones, and we are using it less and less. We are the flesh on those bones and the bones are going to wither and die without flesh on them, they'll become dry and useless. And then Isaiah, or Ezekiel says, I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, and this is the Lord speaking, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And what does this remind you of? This reminds me of the creation story, right? Where God breathes life into that molded clay in his hand. And what happens? Life comes about. Humanity comes about. And that's what, this, what he's talking about here. He's saying that even dry bones on the ground, God can lift them up, flesh them out, and give them life. And that's what God is surely going to do with us. Going to do with us after we come through this troubled time. God is going to restore our lives. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Now this is Ezekiel speaking again. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and the skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. So even through his work, even through his prophesying, he alone, he alone, Ezekiel, could not make them come together, could not bring, I mean, he could make them come together, but he could not bring them to life. There's something else required in order to bring life to these bones, to the, even the fleshed out bones. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, this is the sovereign Lord says, come breathe from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. What's he talking about here? He's talking about the spirit. He's talking about that essence of life that God gives us, gives us through the spirit. Without being spiritual, are we really alive? Are we really able to be with one another in a way that is that is essential a way that is meaningful without the spirit within us without god guiding us without the son saving us what are we we are nothing but a bag of bones then he said to me son of man these bones are the people of israel and by extension they are us too because whenever god in the Old Testament talks about the people of Israel. Who is he talking about? He's not just talking about those people, but he's talking about his people in the world. And his people is us. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. So even in the midst of death and destruction, we will rise again to life. And what's he talking about here? He's talking about the future, right? Not just our future after this virus thing is gone, 
but the future beyond that, the, pu the future with us, with God in heaven. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Where is that own land? Maybe paradise, right? Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it. I have done it, right? Declared the Lord. So what is this all about? It's all about renewal. Once things die, they aren't truly always dead, right? God can bring things back. Even though we may be subject to this virus for now, this raging thing that seems to be pushing through our society, once we can conquer it, once God helps us to conquer it, then what is left? God will flesh us out again. God will bring us back to this earthly life, but God will also be there in the end for that ultimate end. When we die, and then what will happen? God will bring us ultimately home. And this, my friends, is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. gives us life, life eternal. O oh Lord of wonder, you made us in your image, and so we love and give grace to one another. We live consciously and in good conscience, but we are also human and have human failings. In our humanity, we can be self-centered, focused only on ourselves, and if we strip off all our feelings for others and all of our feelings for you, O oh Lord, then all that is left of us is dry bones. We beseech you, O oh God, to flesh us out in the body of Christ, that we may be one whole and complete person in you. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, the infrastructure of our cities and towns, of our nation, of our world, are nothing but dry bones without people to make use of them. Lord, save your people from all calamities. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, in this time of world crisis, help all nations, all people to work together to overcome the evil that assails us. In your mercy, Lord, Hear our prayer. Lord, bring comfort to the afflicted and love to the lonely. Lord, we know your mercy is great and your arms are held wide to comfort us. So it is with confidence and faith that we pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now go out into the world. Have courage. Hold on to that which is right. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint at heart. Support the weak and help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now in the peace of Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen.